future. Let's get inside. Center. Wow. This is cool.
هذا الأقوال الجماعية أن يقدم على تحويل طاقة الفلفلي إلى موجات كربوناتية دقيقة. ترسل طاقة تلك الموجات إلى محطات الاستقبال المختلفة عبر العالم. وحين تبدأ هذه المحطات بالعمل، سنتمكن من استغلال الشمس لإنتاج معظم الطاقة التي تحتاج إليها الأرض. These incredible satellites can transform the laser energy into microwaves. Microwave energy is beamed to receiving stations around the globe. When these stations finally come online, we will be able to provide the majority of the Earth's energy from the sun. لكن لن تتحقق هذه الأهداف دون محطة الفضاء المدارية أمل، فهي ركيزة أساسية ومركز قيادة المشروع سول. But none of this would be possible without OSS Hope. It is the centerpiece and command station for the entire Sol project and humanity's moon among the stars. Thank you, Aya, and thank you, everyone, for your pioneers that were seeking to harm home. If you could follow me this way, our OSS operative Talar will tell you more about the missions that we have here. Okay.
heliocentrismo, eh? Da, he uh -huh. heliocentrismo. Ambassador to Mars. Apply. And now, yes. oh, there's me. Hey. Wow. You're going to Mars. That looks cool. He. Welcome, Pioneer. Scan your face.
the drones come in for charging, then go back to their respective duties. This building here, this is a concert hall. The uniqueness about it is the design changes according to the acoustics of the music being played at that particular point in time. What you're now looking at, these are all solar panels that will be outside of the museum. The museum will now be powered by clean energy, energy from the sun. Another unique building we have, this is a mosque. As you can see, it has a very unique design. It's also levitating. This is made possible by the use of magnets. The last building here, this is a perfect example of vertical gardening, where instead of using land, we'll now be using buildings. The green that you see here, this is all moss. What moss does, it absorbs moisture and toxins from the air, making sure the air you're breathing in is cleaner for us. Take your time to take pictures and videos, then we may proceed to the rainforest straight ahead. What will happen to MS Airline? It's still, well, still, it's still there. It's all grown. We, we can't use Păstrează embrionii pentru planet, pentru to toate animalele și plantele planetei. Can we offer you our biosynth device? You, you can use what? We call it a biosynth device. You can use this to scan our jars. Please proceed inside. Okay, yeah. thank you. Welcome to Pioneer. Start in a library. Here we are starting our first you have to scan here the small sensor box from a distance like this, same level, same level with the camera, okay? You press and hold the button, keep on pressing, till the scan is complete, there you go. Once it's white, once it's done, you can do the first This evergreen shrub grows in the rainforest of New Zealand and Australia. The plant's fruit must be completely ripe before eating. Ah, so... So, so basically what these containers contain are some uh, trees or plants or shrubs ba they're basically stored in these jars things and yeah. this, this is a, like a library yep thank you what's this a sabia fish Oh, if it's white, Not it this. means the species is still alive in 2071, but if it's red, it's going to become extinct. Oh, okay? interesting. Yeah. Thank Enjoy. you. Thanks. There are some extinct species, so let's see. Yeah, we have the turtle. This one. So turtles won't exist? No, this particular species of a turtle. So you can scan Ooh. them. So, this it's red. Oh, so that must mean that it's not gonna exist. So, this turtle was found throughout the tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It became extinct in in 2033. Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, that's good. So, so, cro so Crocodilus intermedius, this large predator lived in the tropical forests of Colombia and Venezuela. Due to human hunting, it became extinct in 2052. Just give a distance, sir, when you scan There you go. And what are these? Still alive. Oh, cool. So Linus youngissimus, this worm is the longest animal on Earth, stretching up to 55 meters long. Oh. Well, that's long. It lives on the sea floor, 
when threatened, it oozes a poisonous smile. Interesting. Thank you. Interesting. Thanks Most very welcome. much. And now everything's huge. That's kind of cool. Yep, and now, and now everything's gigantic. Like who created you? Robots can sense and respond to the world around them. Emotions are only limited to animals and humans. But I feel like I need another question. Okay, uh, that wasn't quite the answer I was expecting. Was it? Your question interests me, but not enough to answer it. What's this? Uh, this is the freak house. Does this mean that the future will be darker and sadder? Good question. All right, so that was my journey to the Museum of the Future. And it was a very interesting experience. And I, and I can't wait to see if a lot of what I saw here actually happens in real life. 
But until then, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!